So, although thought is the essence of things, and that thought is ultimately realizing itself or expressing itself in different form, this self-expression has a history. And this history is progressive history in the sense that it has stages of self-development. So every stage uh, is higher than the prior stage. But this stage, at this stage of uh, the self-expression of human th uh, thought, not human, this is a cosmic thought. The highest self-expression is human consciousness. But human consciousness at this stage is such that it sees the object it knows. So that's the human mind. Has the other. So there is a dualism. There is a dualism. But that dualism is our current perspective which is not a universal perspective, which is a partial perspective. So it is only from our human perspective that we see the object as separate from me. So I see the whiteboard I'm writing on as separate from me, or I see the telephone. Or this smartphone I'm sitting in front of as separate from me. But if I think from a universal perspective, I will see that this object is the self-expression of the same thought whose self-expression I am. And that will, in turn, show to me that this is not separate from me. We are both part of the same, the same being, the same thought, and that can overcome. That can overcome, at least in consciousness, the dualism. And through historical process, uh, uh, is. Um, a dualism is overcome or will be overcome uh, historically or in reality as well, not just in consciousness. But at this point in our human history, we see object as, as separate from us, and that's the whole dilemma of argument for the existence of God as well. So instead of proving God and seeing God as separate from nature, what we should realize is that we are all in a sense, part of that God and the self journey of that God, me, you, nature, and things. So then the question becomes uh, a consciousness of that rather than proving that God exists. I think that's what he is saying, and it's a very Hegelian pantheistic view. That's why he goes on to say that the true significance of the ontological.